a lot more comfort through braking bumps. Instantly, I had a faster time by a couple seconds. Providing less damage to the rider. I could do things with complete impunity. Day four in the afternoon, and I took an extra run for fun. How would I summarize what we've got coming for model year 23? Really, it's kind of all new everything. We've never had the chance to just dig. Here we go, let's try everything. What is your favorite technology from the lineup? If I had to pick, I would say the charger through damper. We knew we wanted to have a new damper platform. So we got a, a new design engineer, Tim Lynch. When we started the project, it was like, okay, I'm gonna give you that clean sheet of paper that every engineer dreams about. You don't have to reuse any of the parts, start over. I kind of think of it as a, I'm like the family dog who runs down the trail, investigates, comes back. I was doing that with different technology ideas. With our system, we have a low speed adjuster and a high speed adjuster. So we have our high speed valve happening to the oil before it makes its way to the low speed valve. There is no crosstalk. We're able to adjust them 100% independently. Like a stereo mixer is a good way to think about it, right? You've got a lot of variables that you can tweak and tune, but I wanna make this adjustment. I don't want it to adjust the rest of those. One of the things that we talk about is harshness. Harshness is that feedback making it up through the suspension. In most cases, it's getting your hands. And that's where you don't want it because that's what stops you from riding longer most of the time. Charger 3 really eliminates all that harshness coming through the damper, allows us to have really fine control over how you want the low speed and high speed to feel at the same time. I don't know of any other examples in the industry that are using that technique. Other things we did, we selected an IFP rather than a bladder, something that I was much more familiar with. I think it has a better response time. You really can't put this thing in a bad spot. And they actually do what you think they would do. What's your favorite technology? If I have to pick one, I'm going to pick buttercups. Uh, I think the buttercups. Honestly, the buttercups. Buttercups are rubberized attachment points for the end of our damper and spring. You can also find it in maybe something like a chainsaw. They will basically eliminate the high frequencies from making it through to your hands. So when you're riding on a lot of small chunder, those butter cups are absorbing that and it almost mutes what the rider is feeling at the hands. He had better control, can ride faster, longer, and we we're getting ahead of the game. It's such a simple idea, but I do think it's probably one of the bigger game changers. I don't want to ride a fork without one. One of the next big pieces was air spring design. We spent probably three weeks just working through concepts and ideas. We took time to refine the amount of travel that it goes in the negative direction. You want the bike to come up with you when you lift over an obstacle. And we're also like balancing how much progression you get from the lower leg. So that acts as, a, as another air spring as well. But we landed on something we think strikes a really good balance between small bump and then the support and maintaining ride height. For that ultimate level fork, we want to make sure that it adds an ultimate ride. So the ultimate level forks do have longer upper and lower bushings and just make sure that it can slide smooth with the lowest amount of friction possible. The way the bushing actually functions is when the upper tube moves through it at a certain speed, the oil actually causes a hydrofilm. That bushing overlap helps a lot with friction, breakaway and stiction of the fork. Major goal of this project was to provide a lubrication oil that helped our forks maintain their performance over their service life. Maxima, they obviously have those types of resources for us. They're actually a really good partner for us because they have really similar goals when it comes to suspension. We found we can come up with different formulations that maybe affect static friction more and other formulations that affect more of a moving dynamic friction. You also get into cold weather performance that is how you're going to get to your lowest friction. So incorporating that in the, in the design on the bushing side and the fluid side, I think is, is making a difference. They worked through a ton of different iterations with us. The way the fork rides now is amazing. And a big part of that is that Maxima Plush Dynamic Oil. This has been a great experience and big learning opportunity in understanding how all these different subsystems play together to create what we want for our customers. We did a lot of fine tuning. 
lots and lots of iterations and lots of, of blind field testing. We start with most of the work in the lab and then we'll take some of these configurations and go out in the field and ride them. So it was really like understanding how much of a system all the parts of a fork are. And I think it's kind of evolved our way of, of working and developing product that'll just make the future even better because we know how to do this now. The feedback we've gotten from people outside the development team has been great. Everyone that came back was like, this is my new favorite fork. To hear people ride it and give you that validation was huge. It's, again, probably one of the biggest things that we've ever done as far as like the amount of people we've touched, the hours that we've used to get here. We've got so many things coming together to kind of make the best suspension we've ever made.